Hello, I am Dina Cotter and today we will talk about uh, the effects of environmental toxicity and what that means to our bodies and what we can do about that. So let's take a look at the foundation of toxins themselves. What are toxins? Toxins are foreign chemicals to our bodies that over time create harm and actually break down our body systems, our organs, our DNA, our mitochondria, and all of us are exposed to toxins at varying levels, depending on our type of occupation, uh, the environment that we live in, uh, how we take care of our bodies, whether we exercise, whether we eat right, uh, drink enough water, because water is very critical to helping with eliminating toxicity, making sure that we stay hydrated. So that in itself is what to a toxin really refers to. Um, and as a result, the toxins create toxicity to our systems over time. And the toxicity means that we're destroying red blood cells, white blood cells, um, our hormone, uh, hormones go out of whack, we have an imbalance with hormone production, so insulin can go up, which over time can lead into diabetes and some of the other degenerative uh, diseases. Uh, we know that the toxins, for those of us who are prone to them on a daily basis, these can actually um, not only create fatigue, fatigue is actually one of the more simple uh, symptoms that people often experience. I mean, those of you who experience fatigue on a daily basis, um, that typically could indicate that there is a toxicity issue that really needs to be addressed. Um, you know, provided you've looked into whether you're getting enough sleep, whether you're eating right, exercising, I mean, you know, rule out all the other factors first. But if everything else is, you know, what you're doing and the only thing that you're feeling is fatigue, then, you know, clearly that could be a serious indicator of toxicity. Um, some of the more serious uh, diseases that can occur, of course, are Parkinson's disease, cancer, um, autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, lupus and so on, a lot of these autoimmune diseases can be triggered because of toxicity that we have going on in our internal environment. So what happens is that when we don't detoxify these chemicals on a regular basis, if the body cannot do that, uh, whether it's a genetic imbalance in the system, uh, poor diet, you know, whatever the reasons may be, what ends up happening is that you get serious damage occurring at a cellular level and that's where you, uh, and then initially that's how cancer actually is initiated. So now we're going to take a look at the toxins that we are exposed to on a daily basis. Um, a very common example are household cleaning um, utensils that we get from the supermarket and those of you who are very familiar with that, you know, you use them on a weekly basis, maybe even twice a week, maybe even daily to clean our homes. And these are the chemicals that are creating toxicity in our bodies over time. So what I recommend instead is buying products that are biodegradable, environmentally safe, and with the least amount of ingredients. Um, the other thing to look at too are cosmetics. I mean, those of you using, of course, shampoo to wash your hair, uh, soap, body soap, um, anything with methyl parabens, any form of parabens you do want to stay away from. So really look for products that are made with more natural ingredients, um, preferably essential uh, oils, you know, like lavender for instance, eucalyptus. Those are much healthier uh, types of products. Then we take a look at electromagnetic uh, pollution in the environment. Those of you who uh, use cell phones, you're getting significant amount of electromagnetic uh, pollution. Um, air travel is another example of that. People who, free, uh, who fly more than once a month are getting a significant exposure um, to electromagnetic radiation. Um, pesticides, you know, why should we eat organic? Because we know, we know now that pesticides and herbicides are extremely toxic on the human uh, body. Then we take a look at the diet. Um, of course, a huge factor in toxicity are fried fats or fried oils. Um, many of you know that fast foods, um, of course, are also not healthy. 
the quicker it is to cook a food up, like instant oatmeal, anything like that, um, has very little nutritional value and definitely much more toxicity because of the way that it has been processed. Drugs and medications, and when I refer to those, I'm not only talking about medications that you take prescription, but also over-the-counter, recreational drugs, all these things over time um, affect our liver, affect our brain, and also destroy DNA um, and the mitochondria. All these things cumulatively are build up toxicity in our body. So it, more and more we understand the need for you know, go, doing something about the toxicity that we're exposed to. So now we're going to take a look at the nutrients that our bodies require to help us properly detoxify. So where in the body do we actually end up detoxifying these toxins that we're exposed to over time? The liver is a primary organ for detoxification, the kidneys are as well, and the uh, intestines. Um, people who tend to be on lots of medications, typically the medications are often put on overload on both the kidneys and the liver, and that's why it's very important to do detoxes on a regular basis. So let's take a look at some of the you know, nutrients that are involved. We know that most of the B vitamins, for instance, B1, which is thiamine, B2, riboflavin, B3, which is niacin, B12, B6, folic acid, are very critical to helping these organs properly detoxify chemicals that we're exposed to. But simply just having the vitamins is not enough. You need to have protein in its um, simple form, which is what we term amino acids. So most of the amino acids, for instance, branched-chain amino acids, are very critical to helping the uh, liver and the kidneys detoxify. Um, and these often are found in usually in animal sources. But normally what we recommend doing, of course, is avoiding animal sources when you're doing a proper detoxification program. And uh, so that's one aspect to it. The other thing, of course, are antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, vitamin A, beta carotene. Those are also very important vitamins that play a role in detoxification. Uh, minerals, we now know that copper, zinc, because they are involved in enzyme reactions within the liver and within the kidneys <clears throat> that actually help us properly detoxify. Um, and then finally, of course, the bioflavonoids that we find in foods. For instance, um, we know that elagic acid, which is the antioxidant that's found in raspberries and pomegranate, um, watercress is another source of uh, other types of glucosinolates, um, which are in the same family as cabbage and Brussels sprouts and broccoli, that these um, vegetable compounds actually also enhance the body's ability to properly detoxify. And what I'd like to um, let you know is that the next time we get together, we're going to really get into how do we properly detoxify, you know, what are the pitfalls to avoid and what to be, a, you know, what to be wary of, because it's not such an easy thing to detoxify. Um, it's very important to really understand, you know, what goes on on the cellular level and what you can do to really get the full benefit of proper detoxification. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again for part two.